if you've got an old Ford, or you've had an old Ford with a tailgate, you're more than likely very familiar with this. A bit of wood to hold the tailgate open. When the struts fail. And there's the struts. Now on this one, they've both failed. And I have been able to get replacement parts. Now these came off eBay. I think they're about a tenner. They're the same part number, the same design. In fact, the only difference is I think the part number on this one is written in white. And on the original ones, it's written in blue and it's got the Ford stamp on it. And to change them, there's these, I don't know if you can see that, these little spring clips around the back. Now where that gap is there, see that gap, you slide a screwdriver in there, spring this clip out, and they should just pop off. So I don't know how successful we're going to be doing that one-handed, but let's give it a go. Let's make sure that this is actually solid, and not going anywhere. That lovely bit of wood in there at the minute. So on these clips, apparently the screwdriver slides into there and springs that clip out. Yep, oh, here we go. I don't know if this is going to work one handed. It's going to have to be a two-handed job. I'll be back in a minute. Right, so I've managed to get that clip off. Hopefully you can see that. So there should be a clip around there. This is what it looks like. It's a little spring clip. And I'm hoping that's going to go back in okay. See if we can get that bottom one out as well. Because there's another one rather awkwardly in there. So that's both clips out. The bottom one... It's an awful lot smaller than the top one. So that's free there. Now apparently this should just pull off now. I was thinking it'd be one of those occasions where you take the clip off and it would just disappear. You know, it'd be found again. But apparently not. They'll come off quite easily. If you put, you need two screwdrivers, one to loosen it, force it forward a bit. And then a second longer one to uh, to actually pull the spring off, the clip off. And you can't catch it in your hand. It doesn't go flying over. It's not that much tension. Anyway, let's see if we can get these pulled off and get these changed. So this one should just... Pop off. Well, that's the first one off. Well, that was fun. They're not that easy, but uh, a good thump on the side got it off. Let's have a look. Right. Let's see if the new ones are as easy to put on. So I can get those clips off first. Right, well, that's the first one on. Unfortunately, I can't show you it with, uh, with two hands because you have to sort of like thump it off and then uh, thump it back on it. Man, I'll have the springs. I'll try and get a better angle on that one over there. So I've got that side in. Now, on this side, it was a little bit easier. All I did was just leave that clip out a little bit, push it on, put the clip back into place. So when you get it up there now, this one I've done the same. As you can see, I've just levered the clip out a bit so hopefully you can see this so this should just clip straight onto there if i lift that bring that down a bit let me get rid of this bit of wood finally i lower the tailgate i'll lift it up a bit We are. Hopefully, you saw that. Main thing is, though, as you can see, that struts on, that struts on, the wood lying in the back of the car. So, if I leave go of the tailgate, will it stay up on its own? There you are, then. So that's another job done. I want to get rid of some rubbish and then. Uh, we can see how it works from opening and closing. So that's all done. I'm going to set the camera up and I'll open up the back of the Mondeo. That's still lined up. Look at that. 
all the way up on its own and it stays on its own absolutely perfect that's fantastic that is now if anybody watching has any of these as you can see somebody's trying to put a cable tie on the end of that one but the end is actually snapped and that's the end that goes over that so it lifts the parcel shelf up when the tailgate opens this ends uh, snapped as well which is a bit of a shame really because now the posh shelf just stays down which isn't too bad but i'd like it work the way it should so if anybody watching this has a pair of these obviously i don't need the shelf the shelf's fine but a pair of these tailgate parcel shelf strings or ropes or cords or whatever they're called if you have any of those leave us a comment below let us know or send us an email double zero garage gmail.com i just thought i'd do a quick video in preparing for rustival so if you're going let us know in the comments below if you're going and what you're going in. Looks absolutely brilliant. Now, tailgate standing up on its own. No need for a lump of wood. And dead easy to do as well. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.